Yeah. Did you hear that? Because rum- we're did you hear that rumbling in the cave. You got a flashlight, Damon? Yeah, I do. I think the maybe, wilder demon. Maybe might get a check. Damon's got the brightest light in window. Either them. the wilder yeah. demon or holy. JJ. Get a look down there. Did you hear that? It sounds like that's 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 a grumble. 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 Holy shnikey. All right, you got my back here, boys. So I'm facing this. Yeah. Great oh, up against them. And then, uh, and yeah, I remember. It's it not even the shape. Negative. Mentally ill. And a special effects agency. We are back here. Ethan Claire Podcast. Holy cow, Colin. Ethan Claire Podcast. So you got to hold the board. We got, we got a tight setup. We here. got a tight setup. Yeah, we we are do. down in the cave right now. Very interesting. We're uh, in a tunnel system. Yeah, it's uh, uh, probably one of the most unique places you've ever seen a podcast being done, if I do say so myself. Um, it was we a are pain setting it up, but pain setting it up. Gonna be worth it. Episode seventy two, though. Good to be here. We have uh, first of all Damon Wynette here, Good caveman here. Damon Wynette. Sweet hat, Damon. By the Thank way. Thank you. Oh yeah, someone <laughs> gave it to me right before we started the podcast. Oh, uh, that's a hat. it's a uh, it's a sweet hat there. So Damon's got the first ever. We're gonna get it. Hat. We're gonna get into it of yeah. why yeah. I'm wearing this hat. People today. might not know much about that, but we're gonna explain that. And then across the table from me, Colin Claire. My Good brother, to be here. Co-host of the podcast. Good to have you here, Colin. Um, it's been an exciting week. Uh, we Last week, we talked about Bermuda Triangle, and it seemed like a lot of people were interested in that. I got a lot of really good compliments from people. People are interested in the unknown. Who yeah. would have known? Who and that's known where that? we're at right now is the unknown. Uh, the unknown. For sure. And are. that's what this whole week is about, too. Uh, before we get into that, though, uh, if you could like our Facebook page, the Ethan Claire Podcast Show, and join our group, the EC Show Party. Me and Damon are in there, and we in are in the party. In the party, and Colin's part Colin's of it too. Um, everyone's part of the party. I've everyone's been busy a party. lately, but hopefully yeah. he's not old enough yet. He's got to wait like what three or four months. So. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I can't party yet. <laughs> yeah, you got to No, you can't. Any ages are welcome uh, to party. Um, but it, the the group is a good place where we're going to be posting more cool stuff. Damon uh, informed us before the podcast starts that he will be posting some uh, part of his zine in there. Which uh, is in the Salt Lake City Museum or not museum library? Library. library. You're Something. not that. You're not that famous. Not, yeah, not, not yet. Not, not in the yet. museum yet. Something's got to happen. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be on topic of what we're talking about tonight. Like yeah. A little side story and other uh, things coming up here. That's in the future. sweet. And maybe we could talk about that next week after people get a chance to check it out. Yeah, um, if you'll true. post, if you could post it this week. Now that'd I'm be committed sweet. to now that I mentioned it. Now we're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have to, to bring it up. So. This week, I kind of want to dive right in because we have a lot of stuff um, to talk about with it. But uh, the main thing that I, how this whole thing started, maybe is the way I should bring it up, is we got to go back to, let's see, when was this? When we did with, when we had the podcast with Mike, Mike Nelson, our uncle Mike oh, yeah. Nelson. I'll put the uh, we the link for antiques. that one. Really fun episode. Yeah. Um, and Mike, uh, we didn't put this in the podcast, but we did. Well, we might have talked about it. The can collection. I don't know if we. We, we, we touched on the can it. collection because we're talking a lot of. It was a lot mainly of after maybe. the podcast, yeah. though. That mainly we after at that it. Mike gave us like the grand tour, um, which included the can collection. Yes. And Mike has like the old high V, the old like. Um, He's all, just everything. got a ton of vintage cans. Yeah, we and all got excited. Not beer though, uh, like pop, because uh, our other uncle Mark um, is the beer can collector. So Mike is telling us about cans and about local like high V, and then he brings up. Um, a pop can or a pop brand from Wyndham. And I'm like, no way. I've never heard of that before. He didn't have any. He didn't have any. I think maybe we talked about the the baseball stuff that we used to play and how they sponsored my T-ball team shirt. Oh. And then we started looking for it. And then then he said he knew we had some, but we searched all over for it. No, we couldn't find find any. So then that kind of led me into... Uh, like a search for the and the brand is called official and so all we knew was official beverage official beverages and damon had known about it too when uh, when uh we fi- like when we were talking about it you had thought either thought that you had some maybe old cans or you knew you had a you knew you had a picture with uh with uh your team oh oh careful with that they're okay. calling i knew uh, easy there buddy so back in <laughs> back you know back in the early 80s we had t-ball leagues and they had sponsored our t-ball shirts oh so like we all had white shirts on and then it said official beverage on the front and the the color of the the logo screen print was the color of your team yeah so then uh, they uh and this is kind of what he wrote about a little bit that i, I said yeah. perhaps would share and um 
I do remember them bringing down like coolers full of the pop and soda <laughs> and like having it like between games and stuff Which, too. Now that would never happen nowadays because that'd be unhealthy. That'd be unhealthy. They yeah. can't. They can't. And, uh, It'd be like we, doping with sugar when you're. <laughs> yeah. those home now runs. it's got to be apple juice or Gatorade uh, or something like Gatorade. that. So, yeah. um, what you what we're talking about the the softball though or like the tee ball? Mm-hmm. You Damon amazingly found some old, like I don't even know how you found this Damon. Yeah. But Damon found – well, you just explained it, Damon. What well, did you find? Well, so official beverage, the shirts, of, if I recall, were around a year or two, like when we played T-ball. Yep. So there's T-ball, underhand, and then fast pitch. So I remember after T-ball – and I shared a picture that maybe – Yeah, choice yeah, that yeah. Probably could. I have my, I have jeans on and a, and a tucked-in <laughs> belt and a, and a hat from probably Tollerton's with some hat pins in it. That's awesome. But that's the official beverage shirt. So then after that, you'd play uh, – you play Pee Wee's, and this is actually my brother's Pee Wee shirt. And if you're at home, it can it's as you it. as you get older. Right? As you get older, so yep. this was when you played underhand, and this was the Wyndham Pee Wee shirt. Oh my gosh, that's guy awesome! On there. Yeah, yeah. And what was what was awesome was every color. You know, he was a different team, and then they'd have sponsors on the back. This one happened to be sponsored by the Kiwanis. Kiwanis, yeah. So we have Kiwanis yep. on the back now. You didn't want to get the Benson Office Supply shirt, and that's a local reference if you're not from here, because that was a black shirt. And then if you were like in the oh, summertime, you'd be sweating you were like sweating. So really little about that, and then. Then I found my championship shirt, the last year I got to play. I cannot believe that you I know, this found one is these worn days. out, sweat and everything. <laughs> I, I remember this one should be in the museum because yep. this was fast pitch and this was uh, it was called Wyndham Midgets. You then. know what age about like these are? So this would have been probably I think like 13, 14. Probably yeah, because Ethan and I played fast pitch. Yeah. We were in underhand, and we were actually on the Kiwanis team. Really? Yeah. We played we orange. Had orange. You're orange gonna have shirts. to talk to my brother. To get... We could parties was the orange shirts. When, okay, uh, that was for T ball when I. I was in T-ball. Hardy's was orange. Yeah. Overhand, though. I remember overhand. This yeah. shirt, I'll tell a, a glory day story. Uh-oh. I knocked out, like, three home runs in a row on, on the... Uh, no steroids the, either. No steroids. Just a lot of soda <laughs> at, on the uh, south field. And then after oh. that, the kids started pitching, not the people who were on oh, the camp. Yeah. But we used, like, a ball that had dimples on it. Like, it was supposed to be, like... It's probably the dead air ball. You know, like, it had, like... <laughs> it wasn't like a baseball, but it was, like, a hard oh, kind a of... Yeah. Softer, it wasn't like yeah. rubber. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. It was pretty... Pretty That's good, cool, but, though. Um, and on the back of this one happens to be uh, Higley Ford. What, uh, if I don't mind asking, what brand is the shirt? Just because I'm interested. Jerseys. Oh, jerseys. Okay, yeah. that's a popular so that's one. That's kind yeah. of a vintage. Yeah, yeah. Popular one. That is sweet. And then, you know, you had the slushy shack down there, too. They'd have, you know, a little shack down there. Oh, you can't, can't, have that anymore. Suicide, can't have that anymore. Suicide slushy and Laffy Taffies. Uh-oh. And, Uh-oh. Mixing know, all the flavors. Popping the sunflower seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could find the official one. Like, that would be the I know. cherry it's gotta, on top. It's yeah. got to be somewhere. So this one I just have. That one with my brother's. It was still in his drawer. He says it's like he doesn't know why it's still there. He just bypassed it all the time. <laughs> then my blue one, um, I just, if I, like, have a shirt, I just throw it in a hamper. Oh, like gotcha. A, so it's like yep. some memorable shirts. Yep. If you I found my beret shirt looking for it. Really? Yeah, my vintage jer- uh, starter That's, beret. You got to bring that. If you have an official uh, baseball shirt, let us know. Let us know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. Someone, someone's got to have something. Yeah. You know, like. Th- that's the weirdest part about this whole thing. It's it's such a mystery. When like you, Damon, you brought up another podcast where they're talking about um, it was uh, a yeah, it was it was yeah, and and it was it's kind of the same thing where those guys couldn't really track down. No, you go try to Google yeah. official beverage and you really don't find. There's anything. nothing. I I spent hours we never heard today. about it until no. the podcast. It's and like folklore, and that's why yep. I wouldn't bore everyone with the baseball underhand stories. But no, that's the that's the background of it. That's yeah. like the the memories, and it did exist. Like. You can remember it, like, and you, you pulled out your can already, right? Like, yeah, it's you right here. The can. Yeah, well, and and I don't want to do talk too much about it yet because I I want to get more of the backstory. Right. But this is a can that I was able to find on eBay. Now, here's the story of how this whole thing kind of came to fruition and yeah, how we Mike got. Mike didn't have it in his basement. Nope. So then after that, um, this was and this was probably like what two months ago. Something yeah, like that. it's been probably two. So three I've months. been just kind of um, looking into it here. I got to go onto here and i've actually got the original post on facebook that kind of led so the first thing i'm like thinking about is if we're gonna track this down i need to talk to people that are older than me and damon um maybe that knew the guy or knew something about how it started so i went on there's a facebook group called if you or you know you're from wyndham if you remember this and so i perfect group for this perfect group and the original post i posted is right here and i just literally put does anyone know anything about official pop out of Wyndham? Have any pictures or, or cans or anything? Heard about this from my uncle and have been curious. 
38 comments. Ooh. One so share, 13 likes, yeah, two and hearts. Somebody even gave me the old love shack heart, so I was a little excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is a January, January 11th, 2020. Yeah, January 11th. Yep. So that's kind of... Um, I think we did the podcast with Mike in December. Was it last year? Well, it was 2019. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you hear because that we're, did you hear that rumbling in the cave? You got a flashlight, Damon? Yeah, I do. I think the maybe, Wilder Demon Maybe might get a check. Damon's got the brightest light in Wyndham. It's Wyndham's. either the Wilder Demon or Holy JJ. Holy... Get a look down there. You hear that? It sounds like that's 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 a grumble. 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 Holy shnikey. All right, you got my back here, boys. So I'm facing this. Yeah, thing. I was. Uh, we I don't might, need to, call, we Damon, might, we might we need, need to call Damon. We might need to call JJ. That goes deep. Yeah. He's saying JJ. I'm saying Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep this out and turn it this way. <laughs> <laughs> you could definitely <laughs> whack something with that. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for you. No figure. So this is how it started. Now the comments I was getting on it where people definitely remembered it. Um, and let's see here what I found. So people were sending me stuff. The founder of the company spoke at Kiwanis. He said he purchased the recipe from someone who had developed it with the name Worms. He thought official would sell better. I recall seeing a pallet of it near where the fruit is sold now by hy V. Then it was Gordy's. Oh wow! So this is how fitting we have uh, Kiwanis one here. Yeah, sponsored by yeah. yeah. So I and you know I know exactly what he's talking about because I've presented um, our films to Kiwanis before because mm-hmm. they want to get together and hear about community <laughs> stuff. And so this does not. Th- I mean, this helped me because then I started looking into. It was a good start. It's a good start. So then I went back and I'm like, all right, what's worms? And so <laughs> you knew that Mike and myself weren't full of it. This <laughs> yep. Stuff was. Yep. So then I'm like looking and I'm like, what? What's worms? Was what this about? And so I found. The this is the original. This is how the whole official. When you tell the official story, you got to tell about how it started. And worms is what's the can say? I like worms. It's called I like worms or can of worms. What a, what a play on words! I get you to drink. Yeah, it. yeah. and and looks that, like Charlie Brown on the front there. Yeah, and it they they actually <laughs> two guys um, from Wisconsin, New Richmond, uh, Larry and Dwayne are the creators of it. And their company was called Ladco, Larry and Dwayne Company. <laughs> and this is all from the internet. I found it. Um, I, I actually like these cans a lot. I think they're yeah, kind of yeah. cool. If yeah. I could find you one of those. you got to get a hold of those. We yeah. were quite impressed with the cool can graphics. Yeah. And these are just so retro. Here's a couple more. And they started with Best Worms You Ever Tasted, and then I Like Worms, and a Cherry Blended Soda. And so this is uh, just more pictures I found. I actually found the original trademark um for worms this is on the united states patent and trademark office website and this is worms canceled um and it says registered ladco inc unknown new richmond wisconsin yep and uh live dead indicator dead cancellation date october 27th Ooh, that 1981 makes... so and it's yep. Got yeah, registered that, that, 1975, yep. so a lot and that registers up because I think that picture I shared with you was like 82 or 83, 82 when it was or official three. beverage when it switched names then. Yep, yep. And so this is like the original, and I, I thought I had one more thing on here of um, I found this actually. It, there's kind of a cool backstory to it. Worm soda by Pepsi. This is in an old newspaper that someone posted online. Six 12 ounce cans for 94 cents. What a deal. Yeah. And you might be wondering, why is Pepsi involved? Well, they're not. The Larry and Dwayne uh, actually worked for Pepsi. They were part of the manufacturing facility, and they were able to kind of, like, use the connection to oh. get their cans uh, and their soda, like, uh, bottled or canned at Pepsi. But then Pepsi came to them and said, you either are going to go and do your own thing or you're going to stay working for us. And so then they sold the recipe for worms. And that's kind of where we jump into the next part here. Um, Here's a little, one more thing I found online doing research. This is kind of the background here. Worm soda was the brainchild of my uncle Dwayne, then working as a Pepsi distributor in New Richmond, Wisconsin. He hatched the idea for the name while seeing a young boy fishing while driving his routes. Worms became a regional hit in northern Wisconsin and Minnesota and represented a manifestation of Dwayne's unorthodox ways of thinking, always ready to mix things up a bit. In addition to Worms, Dwayne also launched Rodeo Soda, Thanks, and we'll miss you, Dwayne. The franchise was created in 1974 by Ladco, the Larry and Dwayne Company. John's uncle, Dwayne, and my dad, Larry, were both working at Pepsi then. Dwayne in New Richmond and Larry in Frederick. The marketing designs for the cans, the, sh- the T-shirts, etc., was completed at my dad's kitchen table. 
thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. The franchise was sold to a group in Oregon in the early 80s. I have heard it's still in business, but I have been unable to locate it myself. Is this someone who reached out to you? This yeah. is a, I found this on a website. On a website. And th- this is where they go wrong, though. The, it was never sold to a group in Oregon because I went all over looking for things, could not find anything to do with Oregon. Mm-hmm. And that's where we pick up the story yes. with the local guy. And I think I have the actual Facebook messages. Maybe I don't. I thought I had Facebook messages on here from... I do not. Um, that's another thing. Um, but I do have the... Actually, that okay, we'll get into that later, though. Um, I have... He, Ethan's all excited. So, yeah, he, I'm going all over the place he's here. He's going to get to I came home from work. I thought he was on the phone with here. Peter, but no, he's on the phone yeah. with... Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, 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 whoa don't break. Okay. Don't, so, don't reveal his fun here. Yeah. Here's where things start... Uh, the ball really starts rolling. I have the whole background for Worms, which um, is you know good, but it doesn't lead me to the next step. Right. Julie... Snelling Donchez, um, which I don't know where she's from, but Julie, Wait, no. thank you. I, is she? You know who that is, Damon? Uh, yes. Okay. She actually um, gave me the information uh, that Dave Mueller, um, and he was he lived in Wyndham. His son moved to Mankato, Craig, um, and the, his other son, Todd. I'm not sure where he moved. but um, And so I'm like, okay, well, now I at least have a name. Yep. I got a DM DM. DM DM. <laughs> <laughs> there's a new hey there's a new podcast there. dm dm so um then i got a name now so then today i'm you know i wait a while because i'm you know I, i've had this information julie gave it to me a while ago um i have this information today i go on yellow pages and i'm just going through names i'm trying to find um dave and i'm at, you know the funny part is i'm actually typing in craig mueller and I actually find a phone number, and so I call it, and Dave answers. Oh, so it's kind of random, yeah. but amazing. Yeah, amazing. So this is where the story really takes off. Ethan's on. eyes lit up. I was excited. Uh, I, I an older guy answers the phone. Crushed his can. Oh, whoa, Damon, Damon. Like he had it in his hand. Like, whoa, geez. <laughs> an older man answers the phone and tells me that he is the creator, the founder, the guy that started Official Beverage, and I'm like, holy cow! And so I say. Is there any way I'm like I try to explain quick? I'm like I'm Ethan Claire. I'm from I live in Mankato. I'm from Wyndham. I'm doing a story on official soda, and then he lights up and starts telling me everything. Yeah, and so you know why he pro- nobody's probably talked to him about it in a while. It's probably been a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's so hidden. I feel like yeah. yeah, and and people in Wyndham know about it, but it's not something that people like really think too much about or talk too much about. Um, just because of it didn't last a too long. It didn't really last that long. Yeah. Um, and so how this whole thing started was Dave, who's actually 80 years old now, and he sounds he's you know, he sounds like he's active and he's uh, very he's an awesome guy. Yeah. I had a great time talking to him. I wish I could have got you guys on the phone too. Yeah. I'm sure you would have had a lot of questions for him. Party call. But I tried to answer or I tried to ask him all the questions I thought you guys would have. So pretty much uh, Dave is actually, uh, I, I'm not sure if he's from Nebraska, but he was living in Nebraska. He went on a missions trip, or he was doing missionary work in South America. When he was there, he saw the poorest people. You know, he's doing mission work. He's working with a lot of um, people in the jungle and stuff. And they were drinking cans of pop, like Coke and all these other brands. And he said, wow, even the, even the poorest people are still buying this product. And, y- you know, he told me that uh, he said it's funny because once you d- you're done with one, you want another one. So he said yeah. there, he saw the profit. He's definitely from talking to him. He's a businessman. He, he wants to make money. And he said that year he came back to the States and it was a tough year, horrible winter. And I'm not sure what year. This had to have been around uh, the late 70s, early 80s. Probably 81 or something. Something like that. Somewhere around there. Yeah. And um, he said he had to spend a ton of money on his cattle um, and everything. And so he decided it was time to take a break from that. And they were moving to Minnesota anyway to Wyndham because um, his son was getting into sports. And apparently it was tough out there. But here he had a better chance of playing, probably because Wyndham's small town, you know. And so that's the reason they moved to Wyndham. T-ball. Yeah, T-ball. <laughs> that, yeah. He, I mean, he brought up sports a lot. Um, and so he decided to move to Wyndham, and he was looking around the area, around the, the couple state area, and he's trying to figure out wh- how do I – he doesn't know anything about pop or, like, he doesn't yeah. have a recipe. He doesn't know anything about it. He finds Larry and Dwayne, and he goes out to Wisconsin, and they made the deal in a hotel – in a motel room. And he, he just got them there, and they were had to sell because of Pepsi telling them that you know you can't oh, yeah. you can't do Piggy both. Back office, yep. Can't. And so they sold uh, they sold Dave the recipe. I have no idea how much 
it was bought for. I didn't want to get too right. personal. But Dave, uh, Dave took 4,000 cases of their extra worms. Oh, wow. And that was his product that he then drove around the United States taste testing to see if people liked the product. And then that's kind of how the whole thing started with official. And he decided that, um, you know, he's going to change the name. He wanted it to be more professional than a can of worms or whatever. He wanted it to, I don't know. Sports related. Yeah, sports, sports related. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Didn't he wanted it to be more official, so he yeah, named it official. official beverage. Yeah, yeah. He wanted it to, I, you know, I guess I didn't really ask him 100% why, but one of the, the ladies that messaged me said that can of worms wasn't really something he sa- said, like, sounded like a pop, yeah. really. So. He, but the recipe is the same exact thing, he said. The, the cola here is the original, and that is what can of worms tasted like. So yeah. this is the original can here, by the way, people. <laughs> and I found this on eBay. And I told Dave that I found this can on eBay. Um, for I bought it for like $22, and it's an empty can, but it's in really good condition, and it's super cool, yeah. I think. It's dope because it says... Uh I think it's rare because it says 99% <laughs> caffeine free. And I asked like, him about that. <laughs> have you ever seen that before? I on can't anything? say that I have. No, I love the logo though with the ref on there. Yeah, and really cool. And, and then um, all the other athletes. Yeah, and so I asked him like, how did this whole thing then take off and become something you know other than a small town Wyndham thing? Well, he said um, he had their headquarters up by the Ball Diamond. He said, which I'm at the at that time were the were there baseball fields by the water tower, Damon? I don't recall. When you played t-ball, we were stuff? down at Island Park. Okay, so was there? On he the two that's had to have been where the headquarters were, because he said by the ball diamond, he said they had their headquarters. Yeah, I did hear him say that. That on could the have phone. been the education building now, which is right off sixty, maybe. Like there's that building that's right oh, next to the yeah the tea. yeah you know Rivers that could have been it. Could have been he said that. like P something P. What's that building called? You know, uh, education something building. Okay. Education. Hmm. He called it something. I can't yeah, remember. I wish I would have. I wish I would have wrote down what it was. But he said their headquarters were there. He hired three guys that worked at previously worked at beverage and beer companies, and he kind of had them help him figure out how to get this all bottled and everything. And right away they got into. Uh, I'm pretty sure they got into like the beer too. And yeah. he said that deal was with August Shells in New Ulm. Sure. So and that beer can is right here. And this picture. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much to Chris Wyzeski. Um, for sending me that picture, this is what the beer can looked like. Nice. Which I think is even that's I love the official yeah, here. Yeah, that's that's sweet. really cool can. And if uh, if I could find anything like that, I'd definitely buy it right away because that is sweet. Um, What's it say? The sportsman sportsman's choice. Sportsman's choice. <laughs> nice. And he said he beat the competition out. He beat all the other beers out because it was cheaper. He had the cheaper beer, and they did a they did a light beer and they did a regular beer. This is obviously the regular. Yeah. Um. I like how it's just official beer. Yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> you know, nowadays it's like all these special you know things, yeah. but it's just so simple. I love that. Um. And so what he did next was he said the only way to grow this thing is to franchise it out. So anybody who wanted to could get involved in the company, and you buy ten percent of the population. You buy a state. So he said one person owned Iowa, one person owned oh, uh, yeah, Wisconsin. Dis- like districts, yeah. Yep, like, yep. And so to do that, you buy 10% of the population each year. Like building your team. Yeah. So let's say, I don't know how many people live in Iowa, yeah. but let's, I mean, uh, he gave me an, uh, uh, like an example. Let's say there's 4.5 million people. You buy 450,000 cases per year. And that was his business model. He said, very simple, very easy. You know, they buy, they sell, they take care of it, and then they make money off of it. Mm-hmm. And they own a portion of the company. Five states were franchised um, at one point. So the each, you know, they had that many. But this was all, the hub was Wyndham. Wyndham. The hub was Wyndham. If you look on the can, yeah, it's a, his company was called Time Out of America. Yeah. It says Time Out of, of America, That's Inc., pretty dope. Wyndham, Minnesota. I, th- I thought that was super cool. Yeah. And so he, he's then figuring out ways to, like, how do you take this to the next level? How do you bring official beverage to the next level? How do you get it to the kids in the jungle on the ball field? Yep. Yeah. yep. Bring them pop while they're playing t-ball. Well, and I'm glad you brought that up because everything I'm talking to him about this, he's saying how much fun he had. He's saying how much fun they wanted to do or how many different things they wanted to get involved. He was telling me about the Clay County Fair going down there, and they had 10 keys and one of the keys unlocked the padlock. So you had to buy a can of official nice. pop. Then you get a key. You pick one of the keys. Yeah. And whoever opened it won like a cash yeah. prize or a bunch of cases of uh, well, it Obviously, it, reson- it resonated with me because it's a part of my story. And I so many years ago thought about writing about it with my friend. Yeah, you know, yeah. And have memories of drinking 
the different flavors, and I think I yep. wrote about that. I have to That's go back crazy. and read it. But yeah, well, like I think having them come yeah. down there and promote yeah. it. The same reason that it resonated with you is probably the same reason it resonated with me. I love nostalgic, yeah. old like things that many people don't know about, but yeah. I want to let more people know about. Like yeah. that's kind and of, we love Wyndham, and it's from Wyndham. So yeah, right. it just makes it even better. And right. I asked him, I said, "What kind of flavors did you guys have?" And yeah. he said. We started with the cherry cola, right. and then they added lemon lime. Yeah, I have a lemon lime can. I got it at an auction though, not vintage. Like it's vintage, but I remember it was like in a thing of a box full of something else. You have one? I do. I can't find it. Remember? <gasps> I, like it's got to be somewhere unless someone recycled it. But we need to find it. Came it came in like a with like like a canned light or something, and there, there was lemon lime ones in there. Really? It's got to be oh somewhere. Oh my gosh! Yeah. He said this is the number one seller. Lemon lime. Then they did the beer light and regular, which was made by Shells, and he said they had a bunch of other ideas, but that all came to an end eventually before we get to that though um i there's stories and stuff he told me but i do want to touch on the little league he brought that up to me and i told him i said damon um was telling me that story as Good. well um here is the oh gee that's what i this is the picture yeah yeah and so, the shirts are so washed out at home i know i tried yeah. um this this is actually but you can see him on some of them yeah you, you can, can actually see, see here's the guy going like this Oh you know? yeah. yeah. Um and so right there and then there's Damon. Ah, look at that. Yeah, I wasn't lying. Look at that hat. It was like probably a free hat my dad got with a car. That is awesome. Or something and I liked happy. And I'm wearing jeans with a t- with a belt tucked in. <laughs> hey, that was the best though. Like you'd have your little league lineup yeah. in the paper, you know. Yeah. Yep. I look straight out of Sandlot almost. You do, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, that's funny actually. <laughs> I wish I wish everyone's uh, names are spelled wrong. Someone's got yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> someone's got to find one of these shirts. Shout out to Den Bever. Actually, what, ben hey, Bever. what you got to do is contact everybody in that picture. Their <laughs> names are re- listed re- on the all school reunion. Yeah, re- 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 it. <laughs> Someone also uh, one of the other things because he, he told Second me place that you're against it. He told me um <laughs> 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 he told me about the little league and how he wanted to provide all the kids and he yeah, was trying he to get recall involved. Bring a pop down to him? Yeah, yeah, and he well he he told me he wanted to get involved with the community and because he wasn't from Wyndham, but he said he loves the people of Wyndham, yeah. great people. Um, he said another thing they did it was called the. Um, Chugalug. I don't Ooh. know if you remember this, Damon. Um, but apparently, and someone Damon's like, I'm a two time champ. Yeah, yeah. Someone no, sounds like a beer. Oh thing. no, no, no! Don't delete young. here. Someone uh, actually commented this on my original post. I remember going to the gas station in the middle '80s and drinking the official pop. They had a contest to see who could drink the pop the fastest, and the owners or people selling the pop wore officials' jersey with the black and white stripes. And then uh, Chris Anderson said, I won the contest for my age group back in the day, beating out Jamie Renault, drinking a can in under four seconds. Whoa. I got a free six pack every week for a year. It was held at the gas station auto repair shop, which is now the Speedway in Wyndham. I don't have any cans of that pop for memory, but this post sure brought back some good memories. Oh, I'd love of the to 80s. see a picture of that. That's contest. awesome. Yeah. Going down. And then he said, I also think I won my age bracket as well. And yes, it was right at Speedway. Fun that times. is sweet, Chris Anderson. Thank you. Yeah, That's awesome, awesome. stories. Uh, do you have can- you have a jersey on? You yeah. have your ref- your- I got the yeah. ref Colin, jersey. it's time for a chug a lug. Yeah, I don't have. Yeah. I got this Gatorade. That's the best I, I can could, do. I could probably finish this water right now. I'm Here, so hot. this is triggering another memory, and this might be another one to look at here sometime. <laughs> but we used to have big wheel races in the in the. Now it's the O'Reilly's parking lot, but then it was High V. High V, yeah. High V. We used to have big wheel races. They'd set up cones, and you'd bring your big wheel down there, and you'd tool around. Really? And like, <laughs> I have a, I have a trophy somewhere. <laughs> I hope I still have it. That is awesome. And then uh, also, you won like a two liter bottle pop. <laughs> Can you imagine just kids tooling around in the parking lot on their big yeah. wheels and like everyone cheering, well, and drinking pop. Sometimes it takes stories like this to bring out. back memories yeah. like that. You know, like people forget about their childhood stuff, and then and then stuff like this comes back. That's pretty impressive, though. Under four seconds, drinking. Yeah. yeah. So, so he, that's he, even shotgun in it. That's just yeah. like yeah. straight up. He brought that up and he's like, Man, I, I want to see a picture of that. Yeah. He brought it up and he's like, um, it's just another way to like uh to get the kids involved. Yeah. And he said he loved watching because the pop would come out the kids' nose right. and you know, um you could tell he was just he loved it so much. It was yeah. something that he was so passionate about. Um he said that the manufacturing cost was one dollar for a case of uh official oh, nice. so and then you'd, he'd sell them for whatever it was back then and that's a whole case that's 24 yeah yep so that was pretty cool um he also said let's see here in alexandria 
a at a chugalog. They did a, a chugalog in Alexandria. He had all these stories for me. It was awesome. Um, there was a lady that came up to him and said, "Yeah, we uh, we poured an official over our uh, ham and um, oh sure, like a we roll marinated of... it or yeah. something." Yeah, and he said he said he never got to ask her uh, how it turned out, but um, yeah. that was one of the things they were doing. I, so. I mean, I still make rolls with Coca Cola. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I you never could. even heard about. Oh, no, it's so good. Or, really? or orange soda is really good to use. Just too. adds that extra flavor. Yeah, yeah. Huh. The, the base in it. So. And then um, he said he had another story. Um, he said because this is back when he would drive around uh, to he would go to the grocery stores. He's a very entrepreneur entrepreneurial guy mm -hmm. he'd drive around with the worm soda or the fish or whatever it was at the time and he'd bring it in and he'd just say uh he'd pass it out to the guy who was running like the the pop or whatever and he'd say here try this and if you like it we can bring more in yeah. so he went to one grocery store the guy tried some and then he handed it to the next guy handed it to the it's next guy soon everyone like everyone in there was drinking yeah. the same can of pop and he said he'd never seen anything like it before because usually he passes a bunch out but oh these guys they're using were the same can? same can they're all passing like it around today. the grocery store can't do any of this stuff no. today can you <laughs> no <laughs> I, I thought that was pretty funny hey it'd be cool to make a documentary on this yeah you know? yeah that but the hardest part about this whole thing is there's just not very much out there to look into there's not a lot of pictures there's a lot of stories but there's not a lot of pictures that we found. Mm -hmm. This is well, where we're reaching out hey, to the public. Yeah, he might have uh, a lot of pictures. Yeah, does he, is yeah. he sitting on some memorabilia? He, he has been? memorabilia and stuff. Like, yeah, uh, he does. Didn't yep. you say he had a machine? He said, yeah, he said that he um, had vending machines that he would bring around and just put in. Like, I know he said Wyndham Schools had vending machines and he'd provide for the activities and stuff. Nice. I don't know if you remember that at all, Damon. Nice. Um, anything. Um, too young, I think, to remember. Yeah, that. true. Um, he and I asked him about the ninety-nine percent caffeine free. Yeah, he said that he had his pop tested and it wasn't one hundred percent caffeine free, but it was ninety-nine percent caffeine free. That it's that special ingredient that and had he, the kick was yep. the one percent that. And he said, he said, I'm right. a very honest guy, and I wasn't about to lie to my consumer, so I yeah. put it on the can. That's and right. I said, this guy's awesome. I love yeah. this guy. Yeah. He's not a he's not a BSer. He's not a big business guy. He cares about kids. He cares yeah. about people. Um, the next story he told me was the can the logo he and i'm like how did you know how did that whole that how did that all come to be he said he hired a chicago drafting company to come up with the design mm -hmm. and he said fly out they, they told him fly out here check out our draft whatever he's like well all right so he flew out there um flew out to chicago and um they said here's the draft and we'll be done in six weeks and he's like what are you talking about he's like i like this and they're like no we need six more weeks to work on it finalize oh. it he said no yeah I'll and sign. I'll weeks. sign it right now. And I, I don't. He said, I hate meetings. I hate uh, waiting for people. I'll sign it right now. Take it. So we flew nice. on. He was in Chicago for an hour. He was in Chicago for an hour, and they were thinking he was just yeah. coming to check no out. No madman pitch there. No, no. He he said he loved the uh, initial design. I gotta agree. It's yeah. a classic. Well, not only that, but like all the other little designs on it. Like, yeah, all over. yeah. I mean, there's that's that's sweet. Too. there's a uh, little like sports athletes. He said he tried to get as many different like sports yeah. on there as possible. So for, yeah, for you check that we out. Have, uh, it was we're in a dark cave. Yeah, that. Colin, you might want to reset these. I no, I better get my flashlight out here. Yeah, check that out. Get the uh, flashlight. We have golf, uh, bowling even. Bowling, yeah. You got to get everything. Basketball, skiing, um, boxing, soccer, baseball, of course, football. I mean, just everything. What a cool, though. What a cool story. These are all stories that you'd hear about from, like, you know, like, movie. Like, this is all, like, movie stories to me. Yeah. Like, and then, and then another one that he told me, he was in Sioux Falls at a grocery store. And uh, he was talking to a guy about starting this company or making it bigger and the guy's like well you know about upc codes right which is this the barcode mm -hmm. and he's like no i've never heard of it because he didn't know anything about it and this is when uh computers were just being brought into checking out at grocery Scanners stores yeah mm. he's like, i've never heard of it before and the guy's like well yeah you have to have one to sell your product in a grocery store now he's like, all right so he bought a hundred thousand upc codes and he would put them on you have to have a different one mm -hmm. put them on the cans of pop and he didn't really know anything about it, but every time he didn't know something, he learned, made a connection, talked to somebody, and I loved that. I loved that part about him because he's, he's such a natural yeah, like entrepreneur, a, such a great guy to talk to. I, I'm excited that you got to talk to him, meet him, and I'm excited for him that he got yeah. like a call out of the blue, you know? Yeah, like, how, how yeah. Cool is that? And and I <laughs> love the probably made his day. Yeah, well, and I love the I love the beginning of the whole thing just because how it started from a mission trip, him seeing a little thing yeah. like that, and then he decided, you know what, I'm gonna come back and start my own company yeah. now this is i i, I hate to end that with a bad note um but the the end of the story is not all that um great i have one more thing actually 
He did a commercial in the cities. They no shot kidding. a commercial. Yes, they we did. We have to see that. And I, I didn't ask him if he still has it or anything, he has but they, to. they shot a commercial yeah. in uh, the cities and they right. had like a professional. You know, it was really, he said, yeah. this is like in their height. He said it was really going places. Yeah. And here's where it kind of um, ends bad. He went to a convention in Canada. It was like a soda convention. You know, this is like when things are going real good. And he was making a deal with a guy who was going to buy the rights to all of Canada, the entire country, for $24 million. Oh, wow. And his wife calls him, um, and not obviously at the same time, but during that night or day or whatever, and says, honey, you have to come home. There are guys at our house that are trying to take the company from you. And he drove back from Canada, showed up in Wyndham, and there were three people that worked for him, or franchisees or whatever, and they were trying to... They had lawyers, and they were saying, we are taking this company. It's ours. And he said the only option was for him to close. And this is in 1984, what roughly. Was it some panda that they thought it, they owned? It was, it was, beca- it was um, yeah, the it was it was something because the franchisees, he, had, he was telling me he oh, had no. some. He said they should have gone to jail. Yeah. Um, but uh, they, they, they got away with it. And so he said the only option was to sell, or not to sell, but just close just it. Close. And I said, did you ever sell the recipe? Did you? He said, no, I still have it. Yeah. He still has the recipe. And there's nothing like it right now. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it, it probably right. tasted like Coke, but, you know, it's a different flavor. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, um, I remember it being good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I guess you, you're you the only one here who's had it, Damon. Yeah, right. um, what what did it did just taste like Coke, or was it, like, a unique? I'm going to say it was, I remember fruit probably, pop. It, I mean, I remember, fruit, like, fruit, fruity flavor. Fruity so flavor. Like lemon lime. He must have had orange. I mean, did he say he had orange? I'm like, not sure. I, I know we brought up lemon lime and he brought up uh, cola, but cola. I'm not sure what the other what the other flavors were. Yeah. But I asked him. I you said, needed hockey players on here. Maybe that was. Is the, there no hockey? The, the, the Canadians maybe they wanted to get hockey on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Dang. <laughs> I asked him. I said, when you closed, it, ha- it closed around '84. He said he wasn't 100 percent sure, but about 1984 it closed. And that would make sense. That would be yep. the two year time frame of those shirts. That- Excuse me. And he, um, he, I said, what do you do with the inventory? And he said, well, a guy actually offered to make bi wing airplanes out of the cans. What? So he said he has a bunch of these planes that guy, a guy made from yeah. the official cans. So they're flying around. <laughs> they're over our heads. I we don't am, even know it. Well, I think they're like little, like little paper. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, thought you, I don't know if he made like of, full planes. I, I was just saying that's there, a maybe. crazy <laughs> amount of uh, cans. I yeah. Suppose, yeah. Um, beer, beer, like sailboats and stuff. Yeah, like, like little things. And I don't know how many of the the guy. I made, yeah. um, but I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I was thinking one big one. <laughs> Giant planes <laughs> yeah. flying around made out of official beverage. <laughs> now that'd be a story, Damon. That'd be a story. Um, Let's just say it. This what is say this? It was folklore and did oh, that. we got a bad allocation here. That's not good. No. Imagine that deep down in a cave and having ba- bad a allocation. Getting... Yeah. Um, I, we weren't even looking at anything at the time though. It's preparing the preview. Um, so I was very, you know, it was kind of sad to to uh, hear like the ending wasn't yeah. all that. Great. Sounds like it really could have been something. Yeah. Well, he he said it would. He I said if it if that thing wouldn't have happened um, with the guys, would you think it'd still be around today? He said, Oh, I know it would. Like it would definitely be around, and yeah. we would have grown. And um and you know it's it's sad. And I asked him. I said, Would you would you ever consider? Um, I don't want to do that. I gotta save this here quick. I said, Would you ever consider like starting it again? And mm-hmm. he said, If I could tomorrow, someone came to me because he's obviously getting old. He's mm-hmm. older, you know. Um, if someone came to me tomorrow and wanted to start again, he said he'd jump on board. All right, let's do it. He, uh, <laughs> Damon, you interested in getting yeah, into the soda bottle? Let's do it. <laughs> and I, you know, my question. You gotta to you, check out the Canadians first, though. Yeah. yeah. My question to you guys is: Do you think starting something like this nowadays would almost be impossible because the market is so saturated? Or do you think it's possible? Depends, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I, it depends on your connections, really. Yeah. How good a marketer you are. Yeah. And I'm he just sounds, thinking. He sounds like a, a great progressive salesman. marketer back then, like in the early. 80s to like yeah that was probably the best time to get into it yeah yeah well and i I, if if mcdonald's picked it up (laughs) and then instead of having the berry sprite which you can only get there yeah true true mcdonald's uh has a contract with coke so coke yeah yeah. some of them have pepsi connections too i'm pretty sure or dr pepper Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. But yeah, nowadays, they're not. They're back, I mean, back then Pepsi. they did too. But um, I'm thinking like Hy-Vee and Walmart. They all have their own brand of Cub. They all have their own brand yeah. of cola. That is. That's a. But they did back then too, right? Yeah. I, uh, I I don't drink a whole lot of soda, but I picked up. Uh, I like Dr. Pepper, and I was over in Fairway, and I had to get it because it was called Country Doctor. And I'm like, it's kind of funny to see how many. Probably horrible. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Country doctor. Doc, it's it's funny to see how many different names there are for like Dr Pepper. You know, like when you go to those stores and they make their mountain own brand. lightning. Yeah, yeah all mount, the mount, They have all the different brands. Even what was that one mountain whatever? 
that we filmed that ping pong movie with Mountain know, Extreme yeah. or I have Mountain Explosion. Mountain I have, Explosion. I have to shout out here too because this is a sort of memory from being a kid. And uh, my friend Jeff, we bring him up on the on the podcast before. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, his dad would always buy hee haw. It was a uh, Mountain Dew rip yeah, I remember I've of, that. I've heard of that before. I think it was High V brand, probably. Yeah, it That's was. still around. It it's is still around. around. Yeah. That was quite uh, er, my weird. early high school days. A yeah. lot of kids were drinking. Really? Ah, oh, it's good. This to hear. is really pissing me off. No, here. Okay, I just have to how to. I just have like one more picture I wanted to look at, but kind of hard when this recording. You should uh, put the logo up on the screen. Too. Yeah. Hope we can find our way out of here. Yeah, it's a little creepy down here. We're in the cave. Um, the growling hasn't come. I, yeah, creepily hot. Like, but uh, I'd probably scared. There was <laughs> maybe there, maybe there's only one or two more things. I guess um, this right here. A, a guy sent me this. Uh, it's the official beverage. It's an actual coo- a koozie. That's dope. Yeah. Isn't that cool? The he the said we could have one. So the, the shirt, the shirts we had said beverages on the bottom too. This is the beer, obviously the yeah. sportsman's choice. Uh, that's I love that. And then I actually good thing they didn't bring beer on us kids when we were playing. Ball <laughs> yeah, ball. I actually made probably the coaches. This is uh, my rendition. I, I took a picture, high quality picture of the logo, and I put it on the computer. And then I went through and did every line so that we actually have a high quality um, graphic because I love the logo yeah. so much. And so I, he threw that's it on why the hat. I, Damon's got it on the hat, and I plan on making shirts and stuff. And I would love to get one to Dave. And maybe I got. For maybe sure. I should get his permission first to be doing all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he yeah. if he'd get don't, too mad. Don't 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 uh, Canadian him. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. I, I just I love the logo and I love the story though. Yeah. I thought it'd be what a cool way to to make it the the brand live on right. than to do some merchandise. Right. So and, we went, and then we got the Pee Wees and yep, uh, the yep. logos on We the got back. some other cool ideas with it too. Well, maybe um, we need to bring the company back. I know. We, I would love to talk to Dwayne, or not Dwayne, Dwayne's the Worms guy. Dave. I'd love to talk to Dave, Dave. and go hear more about it Dave from him. Miller. Maybe I we'll would do an love update. to meet up with him. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do an update. Yep. So. Well, what did we what did we say? The f- official beverage of the this is Ethan the uh, show? this is the official yeah. beverage of the Ethan Clare show. Yeah. Official beverage of the Ethan Clare show. We've never drank beverage. it before, <laughs> but or Damon has, but Ethan. Knows. Yeah. yeah, he uh, I, and he Dave did say he he said I had a bunch of uh, leftover cans that were full. But he had to actually um, drink them. No, he had to cut them because they were leaking everywhere. Oh, and he oh. said he didn't want anyone drinking them and getting oh. sick or anything. So yeah, he uh, yeah, and I'd Wouldn't love to see. God, if anyone has any pictures like, of the vending machines or the shirts or anything, I'd love to see something. You yeah. know, because it'd be just what a cool, what a cool story. Yeah. So pictures of the chugalug. The chugalug. Yes. Isn't that a? I yeah, love that, that name too. Awesome. We need a chugalug shirt. Yeah. Can you imagine? Uh, we need to make an official chugalug championship chug-a-lug, shirt chug-a-lug or something. <laughs> We're getting all these crazy ideas now, but that is the official beverage story. Yep. And I, what I a like cool, what a cool, unique yep. thing. I feel like we've learned so much, but I still feel like there's more we can even learn. Yeah. And, and the hunt for the lemon lime beer, yeah, not, yep. other cans. We should uh, start by looking down here. I'm pretty sure I've seen <laughs> some cans throughout the years down mm-hmm. here. That's true. There could have been kids in here in the 80s when this is a school sneaking down here. Yeah. Oh, they definitely were. There's a... 80s cigarette box right there. Yeah, cigarette pa- boxes. We found a bunch of cool stuff down here. They used so. to sneak down here and smoke in the under the stairs. Don't give away the location though, Bo. Yeah, yeah, in uh, <laughs> in, uh, in uh, Iowa. In Iowa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that has been a fun episode. Amazing, good job, Ethan. I just no. want to give you kudos. No, yeah. thank you guys. Wow. I I'm glad that we could uh, glad we could all pull this together yeah. and do a crazy awesome podcast talking about this because. This might be the only way the the brand will live on, yep. you know, with uh, people if, caring about it. If this podcast even gets out, mom and dad, if we do not make it out of here, <laughs> <laughs> we're, after this, we're gonna go wilder demon hunting. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. uh, thank you guys so much, Damon Colin. Thank you guys for coming into the dar- the darkness of the cave here yeah. and uh, doing the podcast. Yeah. Thank you to the viewers, listeners, Dave. Thank you so thank much, you, Dave. Dave, you made this whole thing worth it. And we worth might meet someday. It. Yes, I hope we will. And uh, I know you're listening or watching, and so I hope you approve of everything we said here. And Thank if you for we, the childhood if we, fa- if we made any factual errors, I hope you call, call me. Ethan. Call me, and we can update it on the EC Show page, yeah. party page. Um, again, bringing that up, uh, make sure you go get on that page. We'll post some cool uh, pictures of the cans and the, any other graphics we showed tonight. And we will just uh, continue to... You know, spread the podcast word, I guess, if you want to call it. The good word. The good word of the podcast. So like our Facebook page, subscribe, give us a review on iTunes if you enjoyed the podcast. We'll be back next week, not in a cave, thank the Lord. Maybe somewhere else crazy. Never know. We got a long night ahead of getting all this stuff out of here. So (laughs) thank you very much for watching. This is Colin Clare, Damon Wynat, Ethan Clare. This is the Ethan Clare Podcast Show. Uh,
Oh, oh, oh Greed up against, against another. Yeah. And then, uh, and yeah, I remember. It was it's not even the shape. Negative. Mental ill. 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 M